Dear students, welcome to NEED Direct Day 16, Gravitation Day 2, PYQ Assignment Solutions. So, let us start with question first. Acceleration to gravity at a height 1 km above the earth, or at a height h wala formula. Okay, this is the formula, height h wala. Okay. It is same as at a depth t, yane g depth wala formula lagai, which is this formula. Or kaha gaya it's same. It dono equal hone chahiye. Yane g h and g d should be equal. That means g times one minus two h by r should be equal to g times one minus d by r. All right. Now simplify. This gets cancelled here. This gets cancelled. So you have two h by r equal to d by r these two get cancelled all right hame pucha gaya tha d ka value you have to find value of d so here d is twice of h and what is height given here one kilometer so you can put one so answer is two kilometers so so you can see that this option is d so d is the correct answer to question first now let's move on to question second a body weighs this much and 200 newtons on the surface of the earth. How much will it weigh halfway down to the center of the earth? Yani aapko depth wala formula hi use karna hai pe. This is a formula. Multiplying with m on both sides. That means on the surface of the earth, this is the weight. On the surface of the earth, this is the weight at depth d. Ye formula. Now, you put on the values. This W is 200. Okay. 1 minus half the way down to the center of the earth. Yane R by 2. D ka value R by 2. As per the statement of the question. Now you simplify. This gets cancelled. 200 into 1 minus 1 by 2. That is half of it. That is 100 Newton. This is the answer to this question. And 100 Newton means your answer is option C. Now let's move on to question third. With what velocity should a particle be projected so that its height becomes equal to the radius of the earth? Yani height uska, it is of earth ke ho jana chahiye. This question can be solved on the basis of law of conservation of energy. That is change in kinetic energy is equal to change in potential energy. And here I mean gravitational potential energy. Because when the particle reaches the highest position, its velocity becomes zero. So, change in kinetic energy is simply half mv square minus 0 because finally the velocity will be 0. Alright. And as far as the potential energy is concerned, initial potential energy by uh, the standard formula is g m m by r. Alright. Now, this is initial, but we have to do final minus initial. Final is this g m m by 2r. Why so? Just because here we have height equal to r plus r. That is 2r. Th that's the reason why I chose to write 2r here. This is a final value. Alright. Okay. Now you can simplify it's half mv square and on this side this minus and minus has become plus. So we can write it like this g m m by r 1 minus 1 by 2 and this overall value is now like this. Now you simplify and by simplification I mean strike off what is uh, common on both sides 2 and 2 goes away this m and m goes off and therefore v square becomes g m by r hence v is equal to g m by r square root. This is the answer. That means if this with this velocity a pro, uh, projectile is projected upwards, the particle is thrown upwards, with this initial velocity, it will acquire height equal to the radius of the earth. Now, let's check out uh, which option is it. Mm, this is option A. Okay, now let's move on to question fourth. You have to find the change in gravitational potential energy when a body of mass m is raised to height nr above the surface of the earth, where r is the radius of the earth. In simple words, if originally the particles here where r is the radius of the earth, 
now it has to be shifted far away where the height is now r plus nr because this is r plus nr so this is the whole height r plus nr uh, in this process how much change in gravitational potential energy has taken place this is what we are supposed to determine okay let, let's use the formula gmm 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 right this is a standard formula now change in potential energy means gmm small m is the mass of the object that that is being raised all right 1 by r1 r1 means simply initial position that is capital r minus r2 which is the final position which means r plus nr let us further simplify this this is gmm uh, you take the lcm r time r plus nr and simplify this all right and as you can see these two get cancelled away i move this r here in the next step now my step next incorporates r here and uh, over there in the numerator is nr in the denominator you have r take it common 1 plus n right then simplify this entire equation this now becomes gmm by r as i write it is n upon 1 plus n what what if i multiply with r and divide with r that is i have done additional r there and there how will this help me this particular quantity is small g now you have this m you have this n you have this r and remaining is 1 upon 1 plus n let's now simplify this how you have m g r written over here and the remaining term is n divided by 1 plus n this is the change in potential energy of that particle now let's cross check we have this option a so a is the answer to this problem now let's move on to the question fifth particle of mass m is situated at the center of a spherical shell of radius a this is spherical shell of radius a right and there's a particle of mass m this shell also has a mass m as per the question now you have to find what is the potential at this location which is lying at a distance a by 2 from the center the concept is very simple and clear you have to find potential at the distance a by 2 that means you have to find change of potential change of potential means initial potential minus final potential initially particle uh, is lying at the center and the surface of the sphere is at a distance a from here so it is g m m by a and since now in the second step you have to find at a distance a by 2 you have to write minus g m by a by 2 all right you simply are adding of these two that is you have to find potential initial potential final add them up both potentials are negative as per the definition gravitational potential is negative for attractive force like gravitation so the two minuses remain as they are gmm by a minus 2 gm by a it becomes 3 gm by a with a negative sign so this is the answer to this problem so as you can see this means option a is the correct option for this question now let's move on to question sixth sk velocity of body on the surface of earth is this much this is standard value all right now if earth's mass increases to twice the present here earth ka mass baad mein twice the present value ho jayega radius becomes half that is final radius will be half of present value of the radius then what will be the sk velocity 
well to simplify such a question you first will have to find the value of g as per the standard formula g is given by this and g prime is the changed value that will be like this take the ratio ratio of these two equations this is there this is there and now put in these values which are given here make these substitutions yani m ki jagah pe aap likhenge 2m r prime ko likhenge r by 2 whole square it is r square by m now start simplifying this r square cancels out this m cancels out and what you have now 2 into 2 square which is 8 so g prime is 8g now this is a core expression this will be used later in our calculation of escape velocity as you know escape velocity uh, is given by this formula but this can be condensed to this formula all right and similarly we can write formula for escape velocity in uh, this situation as just mentioned take the ratio ve prime by ve is 2 g prime r prime by 2 g r you can for simplify this this and this gets cancelled now g prime as written is 8 times g so i write 8 times g radius of earth has become half so i write r by 2 down under is g into r you keep on simplifying it this and this cancels 2 fours are 8 This square root of four, this two, so v e prime by v e is two. V e prime is twice v e. V e is given to us eleven point two kilometer per second. So you have now twenty two point four kilometer per second as the answer to this problem. So as you can see, option to this problem is A. All right. Okay, now let's move on to question seven. Escape velocity from Earth's surface is v. Okay, this is v. Uh, escape velocity from the surface of another planet having its radius four times that of Earth. Okay, radius is four times that of Earth, and same mass density. That is rho prime and rho are same. You have to find the escape velocity for that planet. Well, as you know, the formula for escape velocity is given by this this is standard uh, expression which involves the value of the radius and the density of a planet with escape velocity expression now uh, over here escape velocity of earth is proportional to r into square root of rho for the other planet the radius has become 4r but density is same now take a ratio all right so planet and earth ka square velocity 4r rho square root r square root rho okay now further you simplify these two things get cancelled you have escape velocity in the planet as 4 time escape velocity in earth all right so answer is 4 ve which is option d in this question okay now let's move on to question 8 for a planet having mass equal to mass of the earth So m prime and m they are equal. Radius is one fourth radius of the Earth. Is r prime is r by four. What is escape velocity of this planet? Well, as you know, escape velocity is given by two g m by r square root. For that planet, it has to be two g m prime by r prime square root. Put in this value because m both are equal, but radius is r by Four. So what do I do? It is m is same. It is r by four square root, which is eight g m by r square root. Now you have to take a ratio of this expression with this expression. These two expressions have to be incorporated here. So v p by v e is eight g m by r. Into r by two g m. Overall, this is a square root. So simplify 
this two get cancelled this get cancelled this is 4 square root of 4 is 2 so vp is twice ve and uh, as you know velocity escape for earth is 11.2 so what do i do it's into 11.2 so it's 22.4 kilometer per second this is the answer now let's check out which option is it 22.4 so 22.4 is option b so i put here second option is the correct option okay now let's move on to question 9 v is the escape velocity and as you know this is expression for escape velocity and v naught is the orbital velocity and you know this is the expression for orbital velocity then how are these related with each other and that's a question you take the ratio all right and when you take the ratio it becomes ve by v naught and you have only root 2 because other things get cancelled away so v escape is v naught root 2 so let's check out which option is it v naught root 2 that is option d is the correct option for this question okay now let's move on to question 10th two satellites of masses m1 and m2 where m1 is bigger than m2 are going around the earth in orbits of radii r1 and r2 which of the following statement is correct okay simple si baat hai ki orbital speed ka formula ye rehta hai paas gm by r square root and here m is the mass of the earth not of the satellite that simply means this m1 greater than m2 has nothing to do with the calculation all right so we can simply write uh, here that orbital speed is proportional to 1 by r square root r is the radius of the uh, orbit now as per the question i have to write v1 proportional to square root of r1 and v2 proportional to 1 by square root of r2 let's take the ratio v1 by v v2 is r2 by r1 square root and as per the question r1 is bigger than r2 so r1 is bigger than r2 that is this uh, particular thing mm, r1 less than r2 shows r2 by r1 is this less than one why because if this is smaller and this is bigger the ratio r2 by r1 will be less than one it simply means in this expression I can say that it is less than 1. That means V1 is less than V2. So this should be the option. V1 less than V2. V1 less than V2 is the option number 4. Hence, the answer to this problem is option D. So in this we have solved all the PYQ assignment questions. That's all for today and God bless you all.